Now this is how I fish a 360. All right, there are the fish right there. That's my line dropping down into those fish. I mean, the whiskers from a crawfish down in his throat. Oh yeah, now that is lovely. All right. I'm dropping gems for you guys. All right, pulling up out here at Lake Russell, early morning. About to get out here and see what I can see. All right, let's get it. What's up guys, this is Ryan Johnson with MoneyFast.com. And this time, as I told you before, we're at Lake Russell. I'm out here pre-fishing, getting ready for our tournament that is going to be this weekend coming up. Today is Monday, the week before the tournament. So I'm out here to scout out a few things, see what I can find. And of course, as always, the objective today is not necessarily to catch fish, but to find places where I feel the fish will be staging and be there for me to catch them this weekend coming. So as usual, the first thing I do is always get my unit set up. So I'll go ahead and set my Lake Master chip on the lake that I'm at, which is Lake Russell. I'll check the water level, which um, basically you go to google.com and you want to search Lake Russell water level or whatever lake you're on just put the name of that lake plus water level go ahead and search that and for this lake the water level is sitting at point let me check it again real quick 0.22 feet below full pool so basically with that water level you can go ahead and set your units at uh, zero feet so let me go ahead and show you how I do this and then let's head on out see what we can get done for the day let's go ahead and get into it again time is precious don't have much time on the lake as usual, so got to make the most of it. Now let's go ahead and set these units up. So I want to go in here and hit menu twice. Go over to HB chart. All right, HB chart. Then we want to come down to, uh, let me see, shallow, shallow water highlight. I have that set at 10. Let's go ahead and move that down to five feet for this lake. Um, depth range. I want to look in maybe the Let's go ahead and set this up on about 20 feet, 20 foot range. And then I want plus or minus five. So that'll take me from 15 to 25 feet. Water level offset. Okay, that is already set at zero. Again, you go to google.com, um, pull up the lake that you're at and water level and you'll set up your uh, water level offset. And the final thing is to go down here to lake list. This is Lake Russell. So let's go down here. Let's see. All right, so we want to go to, let me see, Richard B. Russell. There we go. Richard B. Russell. Go ahead and choose that lake. And now on my mapping, it went ahead and zoomed in on that lake. So now go ahead and get that mapping there good to go on that on this unit over here I have it set up with my side scan I have my sonar and down scan all right guys let's go ahead and get to it So we know the drop shot bite is going to be on, but that's not the size I'm looking for. <clears throat> but each little thing gives me a clue into what I need to do for the day. So as I thought, um, this would be pretty productive for me, but I'm going to have to go through a lot of fish to find the size that I want. So out here to put in a little work, so let's keep on moving. All right, now this is gonna be a fun lake to fish because you can definitely get some numbers out here. 
that's not what I'm looking for today. But let me have a little bit more fun. Let me catch two more and then I'll get back to work. It's barely touching 14. Ooh, you can see some crawdad pinchers. I mean, the whiskers from a crawfish down in his throat. All right, so I'm about to do a little scanning. So on this side, I want to hit menu twice, go over to nav, waypoint settings, and I want this one set on a little brush pal icon. All right, and then over here, I'll use this one to mark fish. So let's go back over to nav, waypoint settings, all right, so this one is set on a little bluefish icon that's good enough. All right, as you can see on the screen, I'm over a lot of submerged timber and stuff like that. You can see it. that's what it looks like on sonar. There's side scan, and we have down scan. Over here, I have my mapping, and then I'll have sonar over here. So let me go ahead and scan some areas out over here, mark some fish, mark some areas where the fish are at, like uh, brush piles, standard timber, things like that, and then move on to the next spot. All right. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for for some largemouth right there. It's a bunch of brush piles just back to back. You can see them over here even better. And that's what they look like on sonar. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and fish them. I mean, well actually, I'm, I don't even need to fish these because I know I'm gonna fish these for the tournament. So um, I'll just go ahead and mark these and head on to the next spot. All right, still hitting that drop shot. Not a big one, but it's a bite. I have to focus shallow to get me some large mouth to finish out my limit with these spots that bite is pretty easy for me to come by so the thing will be finding these bigger fish all right let's keep on working now this is how I fish a 360 out in deep water look right here you can see a tree sitting in 43 42 feet of water right over this submerged tree that right there is the back of the um it's pretty much the motor of the boat that's the front of the boat there's the motor right there you can see that and you can see other submerged um timber and things like that in there but that's a real good picture of a of a tree that i'm sitting right on top of that's what it looks like on the sonar i went through here and marked a bunch of diff different things in there trying to see if I can get some of these fish out of here with a shaky head just trying something new out here on practice day like I said it's not about catching fish but it's about finding the fish and seeing what technique it takes in order to get those fish to the boat so right now I'm throwing a shaky head in about 40 feet of water there's a suspended fish right there so some of these fish are sitting right in the top of these um, trees so I'm just trying to figure out how I can catch those fish out of those trees now that is lovely Fish, brush pal, brush pal. Let me go ahead and mark that. What I'm finding is a bunch of suspended fish. You can see that right there. There's a ditch. See it on this uh, down scan. It's a bunch of fish mixed in there. The problem is that they're suspended. Man, that one just tied this on. Fish had it, was swimming around with it, but apparently didn't have the whole thing all the way in its mouth yet. So 
set the hook, missed it, took my worm. Let's get back down there. I found this nice little ditch with some submerged trees and stuff like that in there. So let's see what we can pull out of here. Another one, not a keeper. A lot of fish, gonna be a hunt for size. That is the mission. All right, it's about time. This fish is fighting a little better than a lot of the other ones I've been catching. Bite's been kind of hard out here today. Been getting numbers, been getting a lot of fish off camera because it is extremely hot out here. So my camera was overheating and cutting off. Basically, it's gonna be a numbers game. Um, didn't even keep track of how many fish I've caught out here today so far, but I'm pretty sure if I was guessing it'd be somewhere between 10 to 15, something like that. So I'll weigh these after I fish a little bit more. All right, there are the fish right there. That's my line dropping down into those fish. So I've been getting a common, well, pretty much, they've been doing a lot of following, but not hitting it. So it's just kind of like a patience and numbers game. Out here in 19 feet of water, anywhere from 15 to up to 25. All right. All right, that's another decent fish. thing is fighting <laughs> all right so it looks like that's six keepers so far and actually some of the other ones were keepers but I threw them back because they were this lake is 12 inches but didn't really feel like throwing a 12 inch fish in the live well for right now. So since they're biting, let me go ahead and catch another one before I head on out. All right, there are the fish on down scan. That's them on sonar. Have my sonar up there again. Generally, I'll keep those screens like that have two on sonar one of them I'll have different settings as far as Setting the the depths or changing the colors some little slight changes right now I think I have them both set up pretty much the same. All right I'm dropping right down into those fish right there. You can see this brush pile coming up right here and Let's see If they are still wanting to eat All right, so I thought about it and actually I don't want to keep sticking these fish I'm going to be back on Saturday, so that's a week away. There's no need for me to catch a bunch of fish out of this one spot. All right, but there they go. You can see the fish. See some suspended fish. There are fish off inside of that brush pile. All right, let's keep moving. All right, there we go. That's the kind of thing that you come out here looking for. That's a bunch of fish just outside of that brush pile. You have bait fish, 
Yeah, fish stacked up following those bait fish. Oh yeah, now that is lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at all those fish mixed in with those brush piles back to back. All right, finishing up the day here. Let me go ahead and get a weight on these fish. All right, let's see what we got. All right, fish number one. All right, it's Ryan Johnson with moneybass.com. Finishing up the day here on Lake Russell. Good pre-fishing day. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping gems for you guys showing you how to use your electronics, giving you some good techniques, and letting you know above all else, you can't beat time on the water.